Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. Over the last couple of days, I've been posting a video series showing how to use IMFD to rendezvous with the ISS. In the last part of that video series, I showed how we can use Pursuit MFD to do an automated, completely hands-off docking with the ISS. I wanted to do a follow-up to that video showing how we can continue to use Pursuit MFD uh, to do an automatic hands-off docking in a situation that is a bit different from trying to dock with like the ISS or some other regular space station that has ports around the outside. So as you can see up in the preview window, I'm using the Aero Freighter and no, unfortunately, at least as of the time of this recording, which is uh, June 26th, 2021, it's not currently available for general download, but a uh, big thanks to Dimitri for putting this uh, beta test version uh, together and letting me uh, letting me play around with it. So uh, let me go ahead and switch camera views here. One thing that's interesting about the Aero Freighter's docking is that the port for the dock is actually is actually inside the Aero Freighter. So when we use Pursuit MFD to dock with the ISS and we put in our 0x, our 0y, and then I think we started like 100 meters back behind the uh, the ISS before finally telling it, you know, we want 0, 0, negative uh, 0 0.1. You can imagine if we tried to do that with the Aero Freighter, you know, what would happen? So we know that docking port, it's like it's inside here somewhere. So if we align up, if we line up 0x, 0y, and then 100 meters behind the port, that's going to put us like back here, you know, like behind the engines somewhere. We wouldn't be hitting anything probably, you know, 100 meters, 150 meters, something like that. We wouldn't be hitting anything. But when we then put in, you know, 0, 0, negative 0 0.1 to dock with that, to actually make the, uh, the actual connection with the port, it, we, would, it, we would crash into the aero freighter. So in a situation like this, how would you use um, Pursuit MFD to, to do a dock? And that's what I want to show in this video. So let me go ahead and uh, jump inside the Raven Star. Now, the first thing I want to say is that I think it's it, as nice as Pursuit MFD is. You know, it, it it currently at least it's not aware of like your the space around you. So if I just start punching in numbers, one issue I might have is I might you know start translating sideways and I might hit the doors of the Aero Freighter. So one thing that I think is a really good idea, regardless of what it is that you're docking with, is to just get yourself in the vicinity of where you want to be before you start bringing up Pursuit MFD and punching in numbers. So here with the Raven Star uh, coming up to the Aero Freighter, the area that I would want to be in would be below the Aero Freighter. So I'm going to start translating down. And since I know the docking port's like over here somewhere, I kind of want to be further back. So I'm going to put in some reverse translation. And I'm just going to do a bit of time warp. And you can see, you know, I'm slowly getting down below the aero freighter. And let's take a look at that. So, you know, I'm, imagine I'm in the flight deck. So let's jump back inside. So I'm in the flight deck. And I look up and I can see, okay, that's the docking port. That's where I want to go. And now I'm sufficiently below the aero freighter. Now, if I start translating over to the right, I don't have to worry about hitting anything. You know, I'm not going to hit these doors or anything like that. So this is a this is in the general this is the general vicinity that I want to be in. So now I feel comfortable bringing up uh, pursuit MFD and punching in my numbers. But I'm not just going to do zero zero. You know, well you'll see. We, we, we want to step through this process in a logical way. So bring up Pursuit MFD. Again, we want to dock, so we go DOC. We have to choose our target. This is the Aero Freighter, so in this scenario, it's just called Aero. Uh, the, the XR2 Raven Star only has one docking port, and that's already selected, so we don't have to change anything. So we go to target docking port. Now this version of the Aero Freighter has uh, four docking ports. I believe one through three are, are usable for actual docking, and I think the fourth one is just for something else. Um, but the one that we want is docking port one, so I'm going to put in one. 
Now currently my real x is 83, my real y is you know negative 125 and so on. You can see what my numbers are. Now I can't just line up my x and y uh, 0, 0 because I will run through the arrow freighter if I do that. So what I actually need to do is I want a 0x. I want my left and right to be 0, but I want my y to be uh, like negative 50. What am I at currently? I'm currently at negative 143. So let me go negative 50 on the y. And then again on my, my z, I don't want to be right up to the port yet. So I'm going to say 5 meters in front of it. So I'm going to hit enter there. And now I'm going to turn off the roll because this isn't like a rotating thing. And I'm going to say, you know, apply. I don't know what that stands for. And let's just take a look at the external so we can appreciate what's happening. So it's going to line, it's going to, it's currently rotating the vessel. Um, and matter of fact, if we bring up dock MFD, it might help because we're pretty familiar with this one. And we target port one. You can kind of see, you know, it's getting that, uh, you know, it's getting the X lined up this way and it's getting our pitch lined up this way. But it's going to start uh, that as far as that crosshair goes, the crosshair is it's going to get lined up perfectly in the middle because that's my zero X. But it's going to keep us 50 meters below the aero freighter and for good reason, because you know, if we, again, if we just start translating straight across, we're going to hit these doors, we're going to hit the side of the hull, something like that. So in terms of stepping through, uh, getting, getting immediately below the docking port is like step one. So let me go ahead and press control F2 because pursuit MFT, you know, can take a bit of time. So let me put it, let me put it on six and I'm just going to wait, wait till my real X is zero. My real Y is close to 50, and my real Z is close to 5. You know, those are the numbers I programmed in. And it's getting really close to that point, so the program is almost done executing. And we can go down to 1 now. And again, let's take a look. So we are effectively parked now below the aero freighter. So the next thing I want to do is I want to translate straight up inside that, inside that uh, cargo area. So I'm going to give it a new instruction, 0x, because I don't want to translate left or right. Now I want my y to be 0, so I want to translate straight up in front of the port. But I'm not ready to actually make that connection yet, so I'm going to keep in the 5. And I hit enter, and it's going to carry out the instruction. And again, we'll time 75. warp here. And we know that since our X is zero, the wings are not going to clip the doors. And since we gave it a five difference between the port and the front of the vessel, we know that we have clearance in the front and clearance in the back. Uh, you can probably anything, I would say anything between two and seven is probably sufficient. But you can imagine if we did 10 or 12, there's a pretty good chance that the back of the XR2 would hit the hull on the way up. And if we just did, you know, a couple of centimeters in the front, then the nose would clip the hull on the way up. But five seems to be about perfect because it looks like you have just about the same amount of clearance in front as you do in the back. So that's that's the most that's the most of it done. Now we just have to put in our final instruction, and our final instruction is going to be the same as it was with the ISS: zero x, zero y, negative zero point, you know, zero five, negative zero point zero one, whatever. And now it's just going to translate forward and complete the uh, complete the actual dock. Take a look at that. And it really, really slows itself down when it gets close to the port. So let's do a bit of time warp just to speed that up. You can see we're dot two, dot one, it's almost there. Contact. And there we are, contact. Ship is docked. So Hopefully, hopefully that helps uh, demonstrate a little bit about how to use this MFD and how to think about using this MFD. Because uh, if you if you just think in terms of zero 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 go, then you might run through solar panels or through the uh, through the different modules on the station or something like that. 
get yourself in the general vicinity so that you're more or less lined up, at least lined up enough that you're not going to hit anything. You don't have to worry about dialing in anything to perfectly center point, but just roughly in the area that once you program in Pursuit MFD, it can carry out its instructions without hitting anything. That's, that's the key point that I'm trying to get at. Now, since we do have a little bit of time on this video, um, let's take a look at how we can safely undock. It's not too difficult in the Aero Freighter. Uh, we can pretty much just undock and then translate straight down and we're going to be safely away from the, uh, from the doors and everything. But if we want, we can basically do everything in reverse. So I'm going to put in a distance of uh, 0, 0, 005, hit enter, and, and then I'm going to undock and immediately press APD to tell it to start carrying out that instruction. So control D for undock, and undocking then confirmed. APD. And now it's going to start moving me to that position where I'm, you know, my 0x is, uh, where it keeps me at 0x, so I don't have to worry about my wings hitting either side. I'm still at zero Y, so it's not trying to quickly, you know, translate me down so fast that I'm dragging my nose cone across the front of the vessel. So, you know, zero X, zero Y, but then just translate me safely straight back at least, uh, again, at least like two meters, I would say. Where are we at now? My current, my current Z is about 1.5, and it looks to me like that's sufficient clearance. But, you know, five meters is a good number because it kind of gets you at the halfway point. So let's go ahead and time warp that a little bit just to speed it up. And again, we don't have to wait for us to be perfectly at five before we can put in the next instruction. But we just want to make sure that we have enough clearance in the front so that when we do start translating down, we're not going to hit anything. So now I'm going to put in my next instruction, zero. And again, like uh, you can put in whatever you want, like negative 50. And again, I want to keep that five meters away from the front. So I'm going to put that in, hit enter. And even though that instruction didn't finish, it will go ahead and just start doing the next one. But in this case, it's fine. We don't have to worry about hitting anything. So I'll go ahead and put in some time warp just to speed that up. And yeah, that's a pretty good. It's another way to use Pursuit MFD to safely undock from, uh, from, from anything. Really, you could use it with the ISS if you wanted to make sure that you are safely backing away without running into solar panels or anything like that. Go back to real time. And there we are. So we're not quite 50 meters down from the, uh, from the port yet, but we're, we're slowly getting there. We're about 22. And of course, if we want, we can give it some uh, a new instruction to say, okay, now that I am safely backed out of the port, I'm safely down away from the port, but now I want you to I want you to translate me either left or right so that I can easily see the uh, the aero freighter off in the distance. So if we put in one more, so this time instead of a zero x, I'm going to say a hundred meters. So I want to be a hundred meters, and I believe this is to the left. And I want to stay, uh, you know, 50 meters below. And at this point, I don't necessarily care about my front and back, but we'll just keep it kind of at that five. Hit enter. And yeah, it's going to translate us to the left. A little bit of time warp to speed all that up. And now, you know, now we're safely translating away laterally from the aero freighter so that we, uh, from, from the pilot's chair, we can have a good look and make sure that we're free and clear before we uh, do any additional maneuvers. All right, and that's going to be it. I just wanted to take another look at Pursuit MFD, show uh, another really interesting use case for it. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next video.